assalamu alaikum students this is the video lecture number 2 for week 9 task 1 and in this lecture i will discuss about the reflex action when the central nervous system send impulses to the muscles and glands two types of actions responses the higher centers of brain control the conscious action or voluntary actions and when the impulses are not passed to the higher centers of brain it results in the responses which are which are not under the conscious control such responses are called involuntary actions sometimes the involuntary response produced by the cns that is central nervous system is very quick such a response is called reflex action and the pathway followed by the nerve impulses for producing a reflex action is called reflex arc. It doesn't matter that how clever we are, but, but we will pull away our hand by touching a flame. So this is reflex action. The most common example example of reflex action is the withdrawal of hand after touching flame or touching a hot object. In this action, this spinal cord will act as coordinator and this heat generates the pain receptors in skin. This heat stimulates the temperature and pain receptors in the skin and a nerve impulse is generated which is carried by sensory neurons to the interneurons of the brain of the spinal cord and from interneurons the impulse is passed to the motor neurons which carry it to the muscles of arm. As a result, the muscles contract to withdraw hand. During it, other interneurons transmit nerve impulses up to the brain, so the person becomes aware of pain and what happened. First step was skin receptors detect the stimulus of heat. Second is Sensory neurons, these are the sensory neurons which are sending impulses to the interneurons. Third one is these are interneurons and interneuron transmits the nerve impulse to the motor neuron. Fourth one is the motor neuron carries nerve impulses, impulse to the effector and here is the effector. Effector Muscles of arm produces response hand in pulled away. So the hand will be pulled away. So here was a quick response which is known as reflex action. And in this activity brain was not involved in carrying out the reflex action. This reflex action is controlled by a reflex arc. And a reflex arc is a is the pathway of neurons over which the nerve impulses travel in a reflex action. So here you can watch that there was no participation of the brain. There was a pathway, there was a path which was followed by all these neurons. That was reflex arc and the activity was reflex action. Skin receptors detect the stimulus of heat. Sensory neurons send nerve impulses to the interneurons. Interneurons transmit the nerve impulse to the motor neuron. Motor neuron carries the nerve impulses to the effectors and effector muscles of the arm produces response hand in pulled away. So that was all about reflex arc in a reflex action. I am moving my skeletal muscles to show you these plants. So there is the involvement of voluntary reactions. Voluntary actions are under my will and under my control. But the reflex action was not under my control and there was 
no in involvement of brain. I have discussed about the gray matter, the white matter and the spinal nerves, dorsal root, ventral root in detail. And I have discussed about the deviance of the nervous system, which was nervous system, peripheral nervous system, central nervous system, then peripheral nervous system, autonomic nervous system, somatic nervous system, then from autonomic nervous system, sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. And second one is central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cords and uh, spinal cord and then from brain, forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. The autonomic nervous system was not under my con control and uh, somatic nervous system was under my control. Sympathetic system was about increasing heartbeat uh, heartbeat and inhibition of digestion and uh, parasympathetic system was about to normalize all the functions so that was all about deviance of the nervous system now it's time to discuss the home task for the day one you have to read and memorize concepts from textbook pages 39 to 41 you have to write about the spinal cord and spinal nerves you have to write about the functions of spinal cord you have to write about the Reflex arc and reflex action, you have to write about the divisions of nervous system. I hope this lecture was a good source of information about spinal cord and different types of nervous system. Thank you and have a nice day.